Good afternoon, everyone. So today, I'm going to be making this, I don't even know what to call it, this fun little creation. And as you can see, I started out drawing it. I start out drawing a lot of my paintings, but I figured this one would look so much better um, if I did it digitally as well. So what you're gonna see here is that I've used a 4B pencil and just some blending stumps for the drawing. And then I used Krita and I also use Photoshop because I have a lot of cool brushes on Photoshop that makes painting a little bit easier. Of course, some people might think it's cheating. I don't really care because it looks good on the painting. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy it for the most part. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Enjoy.
It looks really good on Krita, huh? Okay, so my centerpiece here, I want to make that the focal point. And as you can see with the images, I did make it the focal point. The surrounding things that I did draw by hand, I no longer wanted, so I took them away. So now this painting that was once nothing is going to be completely something different than what we originally started drawing. And I'm taking my um, Q-tip brush. It is the um, blur sm smudge blur, blending blur tool, the Q-tip. And um, I'm just going over this centerpiece here. I'm gonna smooth out the lines because with the um, pencil strokes, it kind of looks kind of blotchy. And we're just gonna smooth it out a bit. And it's easy to do that in Krita with anything. It also makes it look more round and all that good stuff. As you can see, I'm taking away the background. I want, wanted this to be something completely different once I seen the, um, the look of it on Krita. And it would have been fine putting a lot of different colors within that. It would have actually been a very fun painting, which is very, very nice to do. I like doing fun paintings, but today I wanted to do something a little dark and something different, something that makes no sense. So. As you watch the progress, you won't believe how many times I changed my mind. And that's just me. I could start a painting and completely hate it. 
and just change it right, right in the middle of the painting. Or I don't completely hit it and I just want to change it. So that's exactly what happened here. And now we're on Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop has these really, really cool brushes. Before I knew anything about Krita, I was doing all of my digital art on um, Photoshop and I had all of these cool brushes. But I switched to Krita because Krita has um, tools that I would use more often than um, Photoshop has and Photoshop is a little bit more difficult to use and I'm still learning it but here you're gonna see that I have this water paint brush that I made years ago and I got I got the idea from somebody I can't even remember but they're just like it's easy to do and I took an image from um, Google and just replicated what I saw on there into a brush and it turned out really good and I've seen that other people was doing the same thing with different brushes now I only got like three on here but it's okay this one works out pretty well it doesn't you know look half bad either but in Photoshop here we're going to um, use these different brushes just to give like my whole fantasy look that I'm trying to pull on here so it's I at this point right here, I still had no idea what this thing was going to turn out to look like, but I just knew I did want to use that water brush, and I also used it the other day on another painting. I'm saying the other day, but it was a little bit ago, about a week or two. And you can view that on my website if you like. And just for those that don't know, and um on my website now has a page where I'll be do, um, selling my art in digital form. You don't have to have anything but a file sent to you and you can have it print out in any size that you want. So if anybody's interested, go ahead and take a look at my um, website. And if you decide that you want any of the other paintings digitally, just let me know. Of course, it's going to be cheaper digitally and I get it. Recession or whatever we're going through right now still good to have nice art but let's give it to you at a cheaper price and what I'm doing is I'm darkening around this thing here I want my um, water strokes to stand out more I've erased some of them too because so, you know a lot of the times when I'm using my brushes there's part of the brushes that I either don't like or I just feel is unnecessary for the particular painting that I'm making and that's the case right here I erased some of it now I'm just adjusting and darkening and beautifying it
Okay, still in Photoshop. I have these bubble brushes. I think everybody has bubble brushes somewhere. And I ha I used to draw a lot of these bubbles by hand. And I used to do a lot of bubbles um, in acrylics. And I had like so many paintings of just bubbles. I went through, I love pearls and I love bubbles. So I went through this bubble phase, but bubbles are always nice. So yes, that was a brush now. All of my bubbles are brushes now. And I think some of um, those smaller ones I did not create. They were already on here, but um, they're fun and it's going to look good. And you guys keep in mind, you guys don't have to do this. Switching from Krita to Photoshop, Krita to Photoshop. I just have some things that I like in Photoshop more so than Krita. And then in, for the most part, I use Krita for mo most of my digital art because it's easier to use. And the brushes, I only need a few anyways. On Photoshop, I have so many brushes on here. I never really know which ones to use or anything. And then on here, they have curves where you, it's easy to adjust um the darkening on photoshop than it is krita i tried the curves on krita and it just did not work and i have no idea why so i i think i'm just using it wrong i am still learning krita and i am still learning photoshop and i figured why not learn them together so when i'm done with everything then i'll go ahead and um figure out how to learn everything properly i guess and maybe just use one but for right now I like using the combination of two and on this I don't really use a lot of brushes and credit either I use the basic paint and you know honestly if you look at what I'm doing I'm just doing lines it doesn't matter what brush you use it doesn't matter of anything because I'm smoothing those lines out with the Q-tip brush anyway. So it's not really even being seen um, as a regular brush stroke or anything because it, it, it's just paint. I'm just painting. You don't have to know. You don't have to really use the same brushes. You can use anything. You're just getting that blop of paint on there so you can adjust it to your liking. And here I'm using curves to darken the painting because I originally wanted it dark like this, but I knew it would be easy to do that in Photoshop. And I'm using another bubbles for pupils. It looks like kind of a little monster man, doesn't it? He looks awesome. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Visit my website. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see me paint or draw. You guys have a blessed day.